Hello Geeks, how are you doing today? Welcome to the channel and topic of this video is CITP in C++. CITP expands to curiously recurring template pattern. It's a pattern in C++ which is used for variety of purposes, some of which we will see in this particular video. So let's start with what is CITP. CITP happens when we have a base class which takes a template type argument and a derived class which derived from the base class but pass the derived class as a template type argument to the base class. You can see the curious relationship over here that we are deriving from base class but we are passing the derived instance as a template type parameter in base class. Because of this particular nature, this pattern is called curiously recurring template pattern. There are a variety of places where we can use it but most uh, known usage of CRTP is compile time polymorphism. Some of the other uses of CRTP is like when we build a state machine. So let's go ahead and explore the code how these things can happen. So let's see the first and one of the well-known usage of CRTP which is called compile time polymorphism. Before we understand what it does, we need to understand or recap about runtime polymorphism. So what is runtime polymorphism? Let's say we have a base class which is having a virtual function called fn and we have a derived class which is deriving from the base class. It's a normal inheritance and this derived function is also having a function with same signature as base function called fn and it prints different statement when it is called. And I'm also having a call function which takes the base pointer and call the function of that particular class. So in this case, if I create a base pointer, new base, and I have I create a derived pointer okay and now I'm calling call function with base pointer and call function with derived pointer so you must have guessed what is will be the output the output will be that in this particular case base pointer will get called and in other case derived function will get called so you, as you can see the first line calls the base function which is correct because I am passing base pointer. The second line calls derived uh, function because I am passing the derived pointer. But runtime polymorphism happens because in the call function I am taking it as a base pointer. I am not taking it as a derived pointer is there any if condition. This happens automatically because of a concept called virtual table and virtual functions. Uh, we will not go into detail but the virtual table and virtual functions are the key to enable runtime polymorphism where it detects which kind of pointer I am passing and then it calls the appropriate function and this is what runtime polymorphism is. Okay, now some twist to this. So let's say I am not creating a dynamic pointer, I am just passing the, I am just creating the static object and here I have to pass the address because I am taking the pointer. Now let me run the program again. And you can see the builds succeeded and there is no difference in the output which is what we should expect. But let's see if we change the base pointer to instead of pointer as normal object. Okay and now we don't pass address and let me run it. So you can see that this time the output has changed both the time it is calling base function. This is because that runtime polymorphism doesn't work on a static type, non-dynamic type, it doesn't work. So this is one limitation of runtime polymorphism which uh, you may keep in mind while, while looking for CRTP. Now what is CRTP? So let's change it to CRTP. Now I am uh, taking a template parameter in my base class type name. say type okay and I remove the virtual function because in compile time polymorphism we don't need virtual functions and in derived class I am passing derived as a template argument to base so you know this is where CRTP comes into picture here also I remove the virtual function and I change the call function at that it also takes a template argument okay so let me just get rid of this in CITP 
to enable uh, compile time polymorphism we need to redirect the call to appropriate class so how we do it is that we do a static cast of type to this and then we call the function on this so basically what I'm doing is that whatever type I am getting I'm, I am doing a static cast to that type and calling that particular function okay and this will delegate the call to appropriate derived class so in this particular case I am having a derived class let me create one more derived class over here I'll say it derived one pass it as derived one and I'll say derived one function gets called I'll create instance of derived as d1 and I'll create instance of derived one as d2 sorry for the naming guys just just bear with me and I'm calling the call function with d1 and d2 now if I go ahead and run the code you can see that first time derived fn get called second time derived one fn get called so here you can see that every call goes to the base class but it dele delegates it to appropriate derived class so this is how the compile time polymorphism work because it's bind to this at compile time and we know what is the type of the function to get called so if you see a code where something like this is there and something like this is there this means that the code is using CRTP and this is what CRTP is all about now you will ask what is the benefit of using CRTP the people who initially used CRTP stated that they want to reduce the runtime polymorphism cost which means that when you call a function you need to go to vptr and vtable and find the function and then call it they want to reduce that cost but honestly that cost is not huge as of now so you don't need CRTP just for reducing that cost in today's CPU's environment and compiler's environment it's not it's it's insignificant unless you are calling them millions of time okay so this is not the main reason but later on many people including the people in boost library have found it a way like creating a state machine kind of thing where uh, it is easy to manage the state via this template type parameters and they have used CITP for example instead of derived let's say I use state 0 as name and I say state 0 called I mean let me change the name fn as get state and derived one I'll call state 1 passing state 1 and here also I'll call get state and I say state 1 called okay and here I create the instance of state 0 and I create the instance of state 1 now in the virtual function case the function name has to be same as the base class but it's not necessary in case of CRTP I can just call the function which is available in derived class get a state so let me go ahead and run this code now you can see that first time state 0 called second time state 1 is called so that's one of the major usage of CRTP and you can think of many other application where you can use this particular pattern and I'm going to create a video series on a state machine after this so that's why I wanted to give a heads up on this CRTP because CRTP will use widely in there so I hope I was able to explain what CRTP is thanks a lot guys thanks for watching please do not forget to subscribe thank you